Gary, three goals away from home, three points and our joint biggest win of the season. Um, you must be thrilled with tonight. Yeah, I was delighted. I think obviously the sending off changes the game, but I think it actually made it harder in some respects because of how deep Shrewsbury then sat in. Uh, and I felt like it was, you know, it potentially could have been a really long night. I thought it took us probably 10, 15 minutes to understand how quickly we needed to move the ball. We had to get Reese to play as a 10 uh, and only have the one six in Woodsy because we could, we could put that extra man further forward. Uh, and I thought when we created our opportunities, we were ruthless uh, with our finishing and our goals were fantastic. Scoring for a corner, something we've been working on a long time. All credit to Al, Sam in the, in the analysis room and, and Perks finally comes up with, with a corner that we scored from. Uh, so yeah, a lot of good things into that first half. I felt second half, again, we can be a bit better in our, our final third play, a bit, take a bit more risk uh, and create more opportunities. But the, the size of the game, uh, where we are, we both are in the league, uh, I can't be happier for, for what the players did and, and the result. As you said, it did look at times like that sending off did make things harder for us. But when we got that goal, the first goal, confidence seemed, seemed to be brimming. And uh, to, to score from I that call... Somebody knows me. <laughs> <laughs> confidence was, uh, was brimming. And then a, a really great cheeky little finish from Will, who, you know, that goal must be massive for him. Yeah, brilliant. He's, he scored earlier in the season from, from set pieces and it was something a new one we've worked on. Uh, like I said, the analysis department and perks have been working extremely hard to come up with different routines. We're starting to work on them earlier in the week and, and it's great when something like that pays off. And, and also Luke's goal, fantastic for him. He scored his first goal in, in league football and again another area where we felt like cutbacks, you know, rather than playing it across, cutbacks would be dangerous and it's great again when the work that you put in in the training pitch on the analysis uh, pays off in the game. Luke, when he scored that goal, sprinted to the bench, sprinted and uh, jumped into Perks' arms. What was that all about? Yeah, they had a wee tiff the other day and we were a wee bit worried about them in the boxes. They, they fell out, but it all looks like they're back together. So, uh, no, nah, he's, he's a brilliant character, Luke. I've, I've been delighted with everything he's done. He's been very frustrated at not scoring goals. That was what he promised. Uh, and hopefully he does a stano and when one comes, then hopefully three or four more come. And obviously the, the third goal, not just the pace from Jack to, to get onto the ball, but the ball itself from Reese, and then obviously to, from, from Jack to... Uh, to oh, sorry, that was Luke's goal. goal. I've, honestly, my brain's fried. The, the third no, goal... scored three goals, Craig. You're just getting excited. First day of the, se first day of the season, <laughs> wasn't it, away at Wickham? Um, cross from Ilmari, wasn't it? And then it was headed out, uh, a great finish from Jack on the volley. Yeah, great for him again. I think, you know, it's the one area of Jack's game. He, he gets in so many good positions and he does a f an amazing job for the team every week and for him to get goals is, is that next level to, to his game. But uh, like I said, I thought with the way we played in that first half, especially later on with the width for the wing-backs, the three number 10s and Sonny as a nine, we really pinned them back and, and gave them problems. And when we you know, went into to tight areas and played intricate football in and around the box. I thought we were very good. Uh, also, our five-second fury when we lost it, we were very aggressive and how high the centre-backs went to, to win it back. So the understanding was very good. I, I just said to the players, there's eight games to go. I want more. I want us to be better and I want us to keep improving. So even though we've won 3-0, there's still areas that... that I think we can play better and, and we need to try and do that on Saturday. Yeah, I've got myself in the muddle, but let's talk about that ball from Reese Cole and then the pace from Jack for Luke's, Luke's finish because uh, it was a lovely move. Yeah, brilliant. I, I, I think, you know, once we had worked it out that they're going to be really low and we have to be patient, but we have to move the ball quickly, then uh, we, we, we created some really good moments in that final 15, 20 minutes of the first half and uh, that was for me the pick of the goals today. We had a brilliant ball, great run and, and like I said, not not just kicked it in the box, he's actually it's something we worked on, cut backs into the double six uh, for, for Luke coming on to it. A great run from Sonny as well, I think, that goes probably a little bit unnoticed. He has to attack the six yard box to take defenders away and uh, Luke comes in and uh, he took two bites at the cherry. But like I said, hopefully now that, that is him off and running, he can score a few more goals in the, in the remaining eight games. A word on Ryan Woods. Obviously, he had the crowd on his back early with that with that red card incident, but ever the professional didn't let it phase him. And just like we saw on Saturday, he's, he's a brilliant playmaker midfielder and a, a real asset. Yeah, he's a fantastic football player. I think he has been his, his whole career. And I think, you know, since he's came in, we've... Uh, 
I think gave him his kind of love for football back again. He looks really bright. He looks like he's you know enjoying his his football. He's getting on the ball. He's making passes, and uh, he's done that his whole career. And I thought tonight coming back here, I thought it was important that he started. Uh, TC missed out through no fault of his own. He's been fantastic in recent weeks as well. But we have that squad, and we have to rotate and, and use every player for for the remaining eight games as well and make sure that in every game we're very competitive and I thought tonight uh, with Woodsy starting TC came on and, and showed his class as well near the end. Uh, just to finish then, we, we spoke uh, yesterday in fact, you said that Saturday's game against Bolton was only a good point if we followed it up with a good result here. Is that now the case for Burton that tonight is only a good win if we can follow that up on Saturday? It is, yeah. I think, look, it's, it's another game. I just said to the players, there's eight games to go. They're all massive games. We want to win as many points as we can. And uh, full focus you know, goes to recovery and then preparation on Thursday uh, for another massive game at SJP. I did say finally, but a couple more. Of course, fantastic from the fans tonight. Two, I think 250 made the journey up. They'll be pleased with what they've seen. Yeah, they'll be delighted. Look, I, I think whenever we travel, we travel so far uh, and it's such a cost for our supporters. So whenever we can win, and we've won a few... Uh, big away days for them this year. It's great to, to give them that because we do appreciate, you know, how difficult it is for them, especially on a weeknight to, to come away. My two lads were in in the crowd with them, uh, so it was good that, that we got that win for them and, and send them home happy. Last last one because I've gone on too long. Um, big shout out to our photographer tonight, Steve. Um, his last game with us after 13 years of snapping away. He doesn't even know I'm talking about when he sat right there. Steve, come here, come here. Um, moving to Australia next week after 13 years of snapping away um, and getting shot, come on. <laughs> Get him in front of the camera yeah. for a change. Steve, um, <laughs> a, a big thank you from all of us um, well, for all the years snapping photos and uh, to sign off with three wonderful goal, sh goal shots and uh, a celebration image in the dressing room. Um, that's our parting gift to you. Thanks so much for everything Thank and much. good luck in Australia. It's a good way to go out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Cheers, Bondi. Cheers, Gary. Thank you.